Hey ladies, it's Janet. I wanted to come on here really quickly just to give you a screen share of how to add items into your PayPal business account. So I'm actually in my PayPal business account right now. And let me get out of here so that I can kind of go back to the beginning. So if you're on one of the beginning pages of your <clears throat> of your PayPal account. It may look something like this, but you'll see the uh, um, tabs up at the top and some items on the side. Well, wherever you are, you can either go into create invoice here on the side or from tools and invoicing, you can go there. Let's go from the top tab from tools into invoicing. And then you're going to see a screen like this that says manage it, manage invoices. So you're going to want to click on items on the tab here. It says manage invoices, create invoice items, setting as well as help. And over on the far right, it says invoicing feedback. Well, you want to click on items. <clears throat> so after you click on items, you want to click on add a new item. As you can see here on the screen, I've added almost all of the items that are in our product inventory with Sanctuary Girl. <clears throat> so I have the product guide open up on one tab on my computer right here. And um, I, I'm on the last page of the product inventory guide and I wanted to just, I figured I should do a quick tutorial just to um, give you a visual because I'm a visual person. If you're anything like me, it helps better to see it rather than just to hear it um, or see it typed in a message but so i'm going to go back to paypal and you want to click on add a new item and it comes up it's going to um, ask for the item name the description the price the currency as well as the tax well i've already set up the tax in here after you tell it what the tax is the first time it's going to give you an option, uh, a drop down option to add that tax. But all you do is you click on add tax, you give the tax rate a name, and this is just for shipping. Um, <clears throat> just type in shipping. And then for the rate, we have a 7% rate for shipping that our HQ has shared with us. So you do that, and then you want to click save. So after you enter that, it's going to automatically populate on the next um, item that you add into one of your drop down boxes like this right here. So I'm going to go ahead and walk through the next item. So going over to the product guide, I'm actually I've started entering the inspired home collection, which is our pillows. So and this is good because you can just copy and paste. So I'm just copying the title here inspired home collection and entering that as the first part of the name of this particular item because there's several several items in this inspired home collection so this is the way that I'm doing it of course you could you can enter the item name a little bit differently but I want myself to know that whatever this item that I'm entering is part of the inspired home collection so I enter that and then I'm entering a uh, forward slash and then I'm entering the name of that particular pillow so that I enter that right next to the item name. So back over to the product guide and highlight the description and copy back over to the invoice and paste that into the description amount. And so what I'm also doing is I'm just adding I'm just adding the item number to the item name as well, to the very end of that name. You don't have to do that, but it's just something that I've chose to do on one. So I want to be consistent and do it on all of them. So you want to add the price, which is $12. Back over to the invoice and add the price. And then the tax is 7%. Since this is a default that I have already set up, it populates the 7% and then you can save. <clears throat> so
So that item is then added on to your item list. So let's add another one. Add new item. Back over to the product guide. I'm adding the inspired home collection. <clears throat> and I want to pick this particular pillow, which is the Brave. I am Brave pillow. I'm going to add that to part of the name as well. I'm going to go back to the product guide to pick up that description and add that into there. The price is $12 and the shipping is a default of 7%. I'm also going to add this item number as well and save. Add the next item back over to the product guide still within the inspired home collection add that name and the next pillow is the the love pillow and i'm going to add that to this item name and then pick up the description of that pillow there copy and paste the price is twelve dollars the tax uh, shipping is seven and I'm going to add that item number on to the end of the name and save. And add another item. I'm still in the Inspired Home collection. Copy that and paste. The next pillow is the Love Always. I want to add that to the name of my item and then go get the description of the love always pillow copy that and paste the price is twelve dollars i add the shipping and then i'm going to add the item uh, number under the item name as well and save so i'll go ahead and do one more so i'm still in the home collection copy the name of the item and paste it and since I'm in the home collection and there there are several several I'm also copying the name of the actual pillow and adding that to the item name as well <clears throat> I'll go back and grab the description for that one add the description at the price which is $12 the tax is or shipping is seven and the item number i'm going to add next to the name as well and save that so we have one more we might as well do it <laughs> i go to the uh grab the name of the this collection which is the home collection and then i'm going to grab the name of that pillow this last one which is the one that's in our enrollment kit is beautiful minds I'm going to grab the description of that pillow if my computer co cooperates copy and paste and the price is twelve dollars shipping is seven dollars and I'm going to add the item number next to this pillow as well and save Ta -da! <clears throat> so as you can see here I went, um, I started at the very, that's the last thing. So there's four pages in our product guide, our beautiful product guide. So I just went one by one and, and in this product guide, as you can see, you can copy and paste the information. So that way you don't have to sit and type it, <clears throat> which is awesome. And you can enter it one by one into your um, whatever you're using, PayPal, I know Liz entered it into her square, which um, uh, one of our 300 ambassadors, uh, she gave a great, great tip that she entered all of this information into her square account, which is um, how I got inspired to enter this into my PayPal account. So kudos to her. Thank you very much. Hope this helps, ladies. Bye.